I've already picked up another signal from the Proto Relic. Or rather, the Treasure of the Sands. Head for Modular Reactor 2. I suppose we can head over there pretty much right now. But we don't have a... yeah, we don't have a fast travel thing there. How do I get over here? Oh, there's a spring over here as well. Okay, hold up. Trying to think of a plan here. Oh, it might be easiest for me to go like this. But I have to go like, afterwards. I still have to find the rock first. Which is going to be god knows where, right? Oh, we'll see. It's right around the corner. Yeah. Sand person, you want to come out again? Uh, so sorry, Chimera, Mr. Chimera. Where is the door? I don't even see the door. Uh. Do I have to go around the pipe? Here we go. Another statue. Alright then. Let's start looking for those craggy cactuars. Something like that. Oh. Wait, show me again. No. <laughs> I have to hold it. That's why it keeps doing that. Where would that be? Like, I don't know, somewhere over here? It better be right beyond that thing. I'm just saying. Well, we're onto something. You know when the music stopped. Oh, here it is! It's right here. What kind of strange pose are you gonna make me do this time? Hi. Oh! Do cactuars all come in color variants as well? Just like chocobos? What about tonberries then? Their golden, burnish, and fleet footedness have inspired some to refer to them as the gilded bullets of the sands. It's mainly just the, the looks though, right? Oh, they keep poisoning me. I think it would be a good idea to wear that thing that avoids poison, probably. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose HP like crazy every time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do we get here? What are you waiting for? Go on, touch it. Ladies first. <laughs> oh no, you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. Oh. Kidding me? <laughs> Why? Me? Word of advice? Don't fight it. Yes, heed the voice of experience. Wait for your turn, Red. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Let's head back to the reactor. <laughs> All right. Poison. Please tell me I've got something that stops the poison. I gotta have, right? Oh, I don't need the assess- Oh! I have the earrings. I didn't need to get the materia back from Barrett earlier. Dang, I'm- I'm dumb. Anyway, I do need to take off the earrings now because... I need to not be poisoned. By those cactuars. They are poisoning me all the time. It's just kind of annoying. Okay, anything in the area? No. Get back to the reactor. Open up, people! Open up! Your boy's coming to kill some cactuars. Which is actually kind of awful if you think about it. Their trial involves us killing their kind. I wish I could hear that story with Kid G again. I just want to know why there's a goblin living with a bunch of cactuses. Oh boy, here we go. And wh why is this reactor covered in cactuses? Is that like... Just naturally growing material? Hey, where are y'all? 
Hey. Sure took you long enough. What do you say? Want to jump right into your second trial? Hm. You know how this ends. <laughs> do I ever? But do you? Oh! Let's see. Who looks fit to fight? Ooh, me! Can I give it a go? No! <laughs> Aerith! Fine by me. If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. Oh boy. Aerith's trial introduces two new species of Cactuars to conquer, Light Tours and da Dark Tours. L2 to conjure an anti-Light Tour Luminous Ward. R2 for an anti-Dark Tour Shadow Ward. <laughs> this is so hard to say. Basic attacks in these wards more are more effective against the aforementioned Cactuars. Okay. Other ones might appear later on. L2 for Light, R2 for Dark. But... What about the other ones? And we're still gonna see them? Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, that's not light or dark. Guess I gotta. I need some AoE thing. Get ready. Quick. Oh nice, nice. Get ready. So these are light. Why am I shifting? That'll do. Why am I shifting? I'd keep my distance if I were you. Okay, that kind of works. Ready. Yeah, my staff is doing some different stuff. I'm doing some shifting every time I'm walking. What the hell's happening? Mind backing off a bit. Oh, come on. I don't want to make sure. Come on. Hey, you asked for it. Oh my gosh, is this a to do. Get him. I don't even need this. Okay. You'll see. Should I just do it one at a time in here? I'd keep my distance if I were you. Get ready. So I don't have to do elemental yeah. stuff, right? I'm trying to I just need to get rid of them. Mind backing off a bit. The ward! The ward is encouraging use of other stuff. Like spells. But Sorceress Storm is not a spell. Hey, you asked for it. Magator should be weak against magic in general, though. You're like doing a magic attack on this. Yeah, don't use your staff like that. Oh my god! This is... This is a disaster! I'd keep my distance if I were you. Okay... Get ready... Okay... That'll I'm do. not understanding what's Get happening. Ready. Can you just die, please? Oh my gosh. Hey, you asked for it. Oh god. Get ready. Ah! That'll do. Holy magical gigantuar. Mind backing off a bit. Don't slam I'd me. My distance if I were you. Someone looks kind of <laughs> shaky. Now's my chance. Okay. I can't even get 1000 right now. I, I got to get this dude. So I can get 1000. Oh boy, they made it. See, they made this on purpose, so I. <laughs> I couldn't get it! No, no, we can't have this go. Make you stronger. Here it comes. This 
one's for you. <laughs> oh god. Go on. <laughs> Don't tackle me, you weirdo. Hey, you asked for it. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Woo. Thank you. Gladiators. Sorry. Just a bit. Yoo-hoo. Get ready. Here. Sorry. Get him. You're dead. Maybe this will do the trick. And catch. One more shot. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Mind backing off a bit. Oh my god. Okay, go on. Hey, you asked for it. Oh, that was a waste of ATB, I think. I'd keep my distance if I were you. This one's for you. All right. Oh, okay. This is a great spot. Mind backing off a bit. I'd keep my distance if I were you. This might be it. One more shot. I had a really good spawn That's today it. with uh, me standing right on top of where he was supposed to be. Sorry about that. Get him. We got it. We got it. Woo! Okay. You can probably tell I've been here a while. At first, I was like, ah, whatever, let's go for rank two, and then I was like, ah... Okay, so the, the annoying... There were several annoying things about this one they didn't even tell you about. You basically had to defeat the last big guy to get over 2,500. Because the last guy gave 500, right? Yeah, because without him, minus it, try minusing my score right now, it would be 2,480, because I got hit somewhere. So either you get the last guy, or you don't get hit at all during the whole thing. I think I got hit once, that's why I lost 20 score. Oh, okay, let, let, let's uh, let's see what happens here first and then I'll talk more about it. <laughs> wow, you sure showed me. Yeah. And I still thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. Ta-da. What is it? A horn? On a helmet? We done now? <laughs> Not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect, and they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to shore up the next trial, seeing as you kind of breeze through the first two. No, no. How's about we put things on no. pause? No. Here, give me your contact info. That way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? What? <laughs> I think it would be wise to oblige his request. Mm, what? Perfect. <laughs> You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Did he just give him his number or something? Our hunt is on hiatus? For the time being, I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. What? Oh, we can't do them all in a row. Okay. Yeah, this one... Well, the first mistake I made in the first attempt was that I... Because usually when I play Aerith, I try to do a Tempest. I try to hold down the basic attack until it, it creates a Tempest. But here, just doing basic attacks was better. In fact, you had to. And then the second annoying thing was that there was one sort of like a hidden mechanic that they never really taught you about. Or maybe I've never even noticed it when I was playing Aerith. The switch between her using a physical attack and a magic attack. It seems to be somewhat automatic. Like if she gets into melee range of somebody, she automatically starts whacking people with her staff as opposed to casting a magic spell. So for the gladiators, you had to go up to them and then start whacking them. But 
if you go up to the magic towers, that obviously wouldn't be a good thing because they're weak against magic, not physical. So you would have to ward shift and then she'll start using magic attacks again. And I think that was a key, making sure that you were using the right weaknesses for each one. But that, that attempt in particular, I had a, I had so many attempts where I got 2,400 something, but not 2,500. That attempt in particular went very well because I happened to be standing right on top of where that, the last big guy spawned. So no time spent walking around the arena. It was, um, yeah, it just, it just sort of, that was the most irregular thing that happened in all of my attempts. I, Usually, you would go clockwise in the circle to try to get the other people, but you can also just stand there and wait for the cactuars to come to you because they walk pretty fast, right? And I guess that worked out in my favor. Alright, well that's two down. Sounds like we're not gonna be able to get some stuff in the... for now. Oh, there's excavation back here, I see. We can do that when we go to give Johnny stuff. For now, why don't we try something like... Hmm... I'm looking at this divine intel here, but I'm guessing it looks like it's on an elevation. I'll figure out how to get there. Okay, I think there's some kind of a grappling thing going on here. I keep circling around the place. But to actually... Yeah, there's a thing to climb there. I'm pretty sure that's it. Maybe... You should see there's grappling things right there, right? So, how do we get to the grappling things? That's the question, I think. Oh! According to legends passed down in Corel, Whenever humanity strays from the proper course, Alexander appears to render his righteous judgment. His pronouncements are absolute and cannot be defied. Parents sometimes tell misbehaving children that Alexander might come and smite them if they refuse to shape up. Yeah, I think we're at the spot to get this. Oh, here we go. I was trying to look for the grappling spot the whole time. Right, right, right. It's right here. Because I could see the climbing spot, but I was like, well, how do you actually get there? Oh! Hey, 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 calm down and swing, swing properly. Thank you. Someone's here awaiting us. Oh, I'm actually not looking too great on the health front right now, but if you can let me just give you the slip. Works with me. <laughs> this is just making my summon better. I don't... I mean, I already defeated the dude, so... But hey, maybe we'll hear something new from Chadley. Aside from the whole... It seems like you don't have the relevant materia yet. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, cool. I wonder when Kid G is going to come back to us. Excellent work. I hope we can procure data from other crystals as well. Something like that. Alright, that's one thing. How about... The Life Spring, next. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I got you, little birdie. You can already tell. Yeah, you can already tell something's here, even more so than the grasslands, because, hey, desert, and then suddenly, a patch of green. Here we go. Thank you, planet. I will usurp your resources. I mean, put them to good use. When's Kid G gonna come back? When I do something, I guess? Whatever that something is, I don't know.
Thank you. Just one more. Rise of the Gold Saucer. The tale of the Gold Saucer began with a Shinra employee named Dio, who convinced the company to build a museum called the Reliquary. Although it was doomed to failure, Dio was not to be deterred, and he set about founding the world's largest theme park, which he first conceived as a small-scale fairground. In the wake of the Corel Mako reactor explosion four years ago, plans were set in motion to revitalize the local economy. Hearing this, Dio decided to relocate his fairground to the region, eventually transforming it into a state-of-the-art entertainment complex. Now known as the Gold Saucer, it's powered by several modular reactors, which are responsible for the surrounding area's accelerated desertification. In light of this, the reactors are now run at minimum output in an attempt to mitigate further damage to the environment. Oh, so Dio used to work with Shinra. But then somehow he managed to get enough money to make the world's biggest theme park? Does Dio hate Shinra? He was helping us fight off the Turks and all, so I thought he was all like anti-Shinra-ish too. But at the same time, he's making money with his gold saucer, which relies heavily on Mako usage. So I don't know, maybe he just liked the look of me. It's... not very clear to me. Okay, I think we should... Of what we've seen here in the desert... Yeah. We should probably start heading down to, say... This Divine Intel, and even that... That tower as well. Yeah, we'll go back here. The annoying thing about this place is that... It's... Oh, it's right behind me. The buggy's right behind me. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of places with like different elevations. We have to be careful to try to figure out how to get to those places. It's not just about seeing it in the distance, unfortunately. Uh, if I keep going, will I get somewhere? Hopefully. It's like a mesa. This is supposed to be, like, Los Angeles. I want to say, what's the name of this planet? Does it not have a name? I feel like I don't know how to refer to this place as a whole. Whoa. What's this? If that's not a tower, I don't know what is. Oh, okay, perfect. Is there some... grapply thingy here? Yup. Wait, this isn't even where I was trying to be. Where the hell is this? Oh, wow, we drove all the way here. Okay. Hi. Ow. Wow. Ooh. I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, I, I don't even have MP. That's how long I haven't healed for. Mmm! Among all the Aerith and Yuffie minigames, I forgot about Kate Sith. Learning Kate Sith! Okay, he's gone yet again. Present Claw. These landworms are kind of annoying. Oh, Cloud's gone. Follow my lead. Keep it together. I'll fight tooth and claw for you! Let's ride! Oh! Actually staggered two things at once, that's crazy. Fortune telling? Oh, that was a good bit of damage, actually. Woo! So he's a... ranged attacker. That's what he is. Roll of the dice. Let's consult the dice. I feel more to run in. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? Total outrage. So can you guys actually Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. We're dying so badly right now. The other one's nearly dead, but we're not even attacking it. Okay, attack this one. Stardust Ray. Give it your all. Watch this. 
Let's not get ahead of us. Ooh, that wasn't great. Where do I go back to to get a bench, a free bench? I can't think of one. That's why I haven't gone back. Do I have to go all the way? There probably was one in town somewhere. Oh, there was an inn. I gotta go back there. Um. Wait, what are you grappling? What are you grab? Oh no 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 no! No, come on, dude. Not what I wanted. Barrett's smart. Barrett stays in place because he knows that was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. But what did I mean to do? <laughs> Go here, apparently. That's crazy. This is in like a ravine area. Moogle! And the last life spring? Alright, good. Yeah, I still have to walk over there though. Maybe take the buggy and then go over there somehow. Something like that. Look who's here! You alright, dude? I don't even know what your deal is. You're just sort of... <laughs> appearing and then disappearing. Oh, I think we just had to go from the tower here, actually. I didn't have to go backwards. Yeah, yeah, okay, there's more going on here, I see. Went back all that way for no reason, but at least we got to see the sand giant. Or something. <laughs> Oh, it's so narrow here. Sorry, everybody. You'll just have to bear with my driving skills. There's gonna be a lot of bumpy rides and all. But we'll... we'll make it there. Here? Oh, that'll make things more convenient. <laughs> you rush out... to welcome me? Thank you, I appreciate it. I could use the healing, but I just switched to a different party. <laughs> By the way, aside from the Johnny quest, where we're still trying to find the Tomberry that I don't know about yet, there's one more back in the Gold Saucer, so at some point we should probably get back there as well. Here's a Mog's Duel. You're living in the desert! Hey man! Wanna hang out with the Moogles? Yeah, sure, I guess. Do more babysitting for them. Please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. God, you're so creepy. Why do all the Moogles... Everyone's Moogle looks different. Kate Sith's Moogle looks different. Oh, what's that all about? Oh my god, okay. Who's trying to aim for me? Get back over! I swear. No! No, 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 please. You gotta go this way. You gotta go... Ugh, you're such an annoying little... Get back home! You know how they could have made this worse than Fort Condor? By putting a time limit. So thank goodness they didn't do that. I would rage. <laughs> how, about this? how about nothing? Go home! Go home, you nasty looking little thing! Home! Home! Moogle phone home! 
Oh my god, I swear to god. Both of you. Here you go. Can't catch me. Go home. <laughs> oh no, we can only get hit three times, right? We'll have to be careful. Molala! Go home, damn it. Where the hell are you going? So slow. You piece of little piece of garbage. Little piece of garbage. Fine, I'll get Mookie first. Go home. Yes. Moolala being literally the most annoying little little jerkwad. Now go to the bridge so I can actually follow you. Cause I can't follow you if you don't, if you don't go to the bridge. Get in there! Ah! I am never babysitting ever again. Thanks so much, Koopa. Take care of your own kids. You're such a great help, Koopa. As a reward, I'll tell you the story of how Mog and Mag fell in love. It's so romantic. Even after Mog was fully grown, he still struggled to fly, but he never gave up. He kept on practicing, undeterred. Eventually, Mag noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her power to support him. As time passed, the two became closer and closer until one day, <laughs> I'll leave the rest to your imagination. They had a lot of baby Moogles. Well, I... It's a nice love story, I suppose. Can you show me your shop Please now? Shop to your heart's content, Koopa. Vibro detector. Capable of detecting subterranean tremors. Yeah, but what, what do we want to do about that? <laughs> wow, we have a lot of Moogle medals, my god. Fortunes untold for Kate Sif. Sweet. Okay, healing materia earrings. That's nice. Hmm. Maybe that would be good for somebody. Grants access to Kuraga as well. Okay, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. And then I'll get this fibro detector too, although I don't know what it is. Yeah, alright. Thanks so much. Does anybody want those earrings? Tifa has chakra, Aerith. Aerith having the earrings. Magic power by 10%, that's probably better for her, but her healing's kind of crappy right now. Maybe for Barret? High power wrist guards? Eh. Yuffie? Yuffie, you want to heal people? Do you want to be a, a force of good around here? Because you can be. There you go. Just notice that red probably has been sitting on some stuff. Yeah, this one's kind of like whatever. Increases max HP by 5%. Something like that, sure. Okay, y'all looking good right now? Oh, I really gotta try out Kate Seth more. Over here. Just sort of been coasting by so far. And Aerith... Not Aerith. Tifa's not done her star shower yet either. So there's a... There's a life spring here. Can we get to it before we get out of here? I think getting all the life spring will unlock the unique creature in this area as well. Goodbye, Moogles. Thank you for letting me babysit you, I guess. Now this is going... This way? Yeah, it's just that I don't have MP right now. That's my biggest problem with Cloud. Here we go. Wait, which way you go in? This way, right? You look like a fruit. I look at you. You're like a shiny green fruit. Oh, it's like an oasis in the desert. Unable! Sprig of Sage! 
Should probably look into some crafting stuff soon. We good? Okay. Cloud. Good news. I believe I've ascertained the whereabouts of your royal quarry. Oh. The Tonberry King. Johnny wasn't that far off. Let's not keep your entrepreneurial friend waiting, lest he wither in the heat. Oh. Here he is. Dangerous fiend nest. Right in the spot I haven't been to before. Okay. Think we probably want to heal up before we go there. Tom Barry, we need UV. Stealing. And then Cloud with the, the safety bit. Hold up. We'll do it right now. I didn't forget. Safety bit. Not star pendant anymore. Grants immunity to instant death. And then stone and petrify. So Cloud, Yuffie, and who? Maybe like... Cloud, Yuffie, Barrett. Works for me, but I think I want to get some MP back first. Let me let me do a little bit of healing and uh, we'll, we'll head over there. We are heading over to where... Oh, wow, is that a whole castle? <gasps> okay, we have a whole castle to fight this Tomberry with, and Barret just wants to jump down? Can we? Cloud, it appears that you've arrived at the lair of the Tomberry King. That crown belongs on a far statelier head than his. Namely yours. I'd say it's high time we divest him of it. But then what will happen to his citizens? Will we become the Tomberry King by stealing his crown? How does that even work? Alright, we have a goal today. Just to make sure. Our goal is not just to defeat him. We have to get the crown for Johnny. Yeah, let's check out, check out the description again if we can. Steal the Tomberry King's crown and deliver it to Johnny. You may deliver a pristine or marred crown. Oh! Oh, I wonder what the difference is. Or how... how mm. Well, if you put it like that, of course I want to give him a pristine crown, right? I guess we'll just have to... Maybe stealing it early on versus later on? I don't know. Yuffie has the steel materia. <laughs> Let me just double check once more. Cloud has got the safety bit. UV, UV does have the steel materia, and then Barrett just stand there and look pretty, alright? We will summon the king. King! I challenge you! Oh, wow, you're bigger than I thought! <gasps> oh, wow, you're huge! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, what does this mean? I have to assess to begin with. Too bad. A giant Tomberry that lives in a remote part of Corral Desert. Its elegant and noble appearance has earned it the title of King, as well as the gorgeous crown now adorning its head. It approaches its targets majestically, brandishing its knife and lantern with fitting royal flair. Inflicting enough damage when its attacks miss will pressure it. When pressured, it will drop its pristine crown, leaving the item to be vul vulnerable to be stolen. Oh, but it says Mart already. Its special attack renders the target incapacitated and unable to be revived. Unable to be revived? I didn't know that part. Wow. Wait, so what should I be doing then? I I want to pressure it. Yeah, just have it have it miss its attacks and then pressure it. And then it'll drop its crown and then I get Yuffie to steal. So maybe the first thing to do would be to try to get Yuffie more ATB so that she's ready to steal whenever. It's on you. Something like that. Okay, there's her ATB. Ranker! I know you can do this. Barrett, be careful. 
Be careful, all right? We'll just walk away for a second here. It's turning around to look at me. Don't look at me. Oh! Oh, safety bit. Thank you. That was so fast, though. Did you see? Oh my goodness. What the hell? I'm just gonna try to get you from afar. Burn. That rancor, I probably not a good idea. Don't touch it. Call for friends. Excuse me. Call for friends. <gasps> oh my god! Oh no! Okay, Barrett. I'm gonna need you to heal Cloud up. Good thing they keep targeting me. This is good. This is good. Just target me. Doom and gloom. That's not good either, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, did the little one die? That's good. I got a plume of Phoenix down for killing the Tomberry. But we have to we have to get this guy to miss its attacks. So we have to dodge and stuff, right? That's it. Oh, there we go, there we go. It dropped it! It dropped it! Yuffie! Steal! St oh, wait, steal the crown? Thank you! You got it! Nice! Alright, I believe we can just go normally then, right? Don't overdo it. Alright! Watch and learn! Hopefully. If you insist, don't let me down. Let's do this. I don't feel comfortable using anybody aside from Cloud right now though, because he has a safety bit. <laughs> No! Okay, something happened to Barrett. Can he be raised? Because apparently he can't. Still up for it. He can. Alright! Thanks! Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> this is going well. This is going well. You know what? We're we're out. Here I go. You're good to go. Taking over. Call for friends. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. I I might want to heal up myself. Let's try that again. Oh, the, the, okay, the friend is right there, dude. Oh! Guess it's my turn. Shoot, it stopped my time. Thank oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for the safety bit. Oh, you in trouble now. Huh. Hey, you probably want to heal up a little bit too, but um <laughs> Let's see here. Life save? No, no, that's not a good idea right now. Let's get the little one first if we can. Oh, shoot. Okay, we have to win this fight, okay? Because we already got the crown. We have to win this fight. So can I can I revive you or not, Yuffie? Be careful. Okay, it works, it works. No! You beat! Oh no, I'm getting... I'm getting... Frozen again, I think. Just a little bit more. Here it comes. Yes! Yeah! Get the hell out of here! The little one's alive somewhere. Oh god! <gasps> Barret. Oh! We got the king! We got the king, so the little one just auto died. You did it, Cloud! I now dub thee the new king of the Tonberries. By analyzing the king's biometrics, we can better understand Tonberry's social structures. Our research proceeds apace. Thank you, Cloud. Another crown snatched by the incomparable Yuffie. Let's hurry up and get this to Johnny. That was great! Everyone, good job! We did a great job today. What was the combat assignment? Was there anything aside from defeating it? I uh, know, we did it. Yo, we need to go back and do Queen's Blood sometime too, but we should probably go back to Johnny right now because... Let's not keep him waiting. He's been waiting for quite a while already. Yeah, why, why am I still here? I got it already, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm just a, a little bit hurt. That's all. Just a tad. Barrett, 1 HP. <laughs> oh, I want you to use Magnify, actually, but... Anyway, whatever, we're fine. Alright, let's get the heck out of here, if we can.
That went well because we prepared well. Yeah, safety bit saved me so many times. <laughs> you took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So, where's the crown? I, I didn't even get a marred one. Should I have gotten a marred one? Well, this is the better one, right? I guess it's okay. Whoa! Get a load of the shine on that, baby! It is positively legendary! And we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you. Don't worry. The fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display. Man, I can't wait to see the look on my face when I see this! <laughs> I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel. Be sure to swing by when you have the chance. I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you. Really? I will come back. Later on. Oh, you want me to go back right now? Okay, well maybe before we go back, why don't we... I was thinking we should do some QB, and there's a quest here too. We should probably pick that up. Can I come right here? Yeah, do some QB, pick up the new quest, and then get back and get our reward. How does that sound? We need to talk to the floating dude. Got any gill for me? Huh? Huh? Yeah, he's been floating the whole time. So, you have begun to fulfill your potential. Long have I awaited this day. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all, even that which some wish to keep hidden. You exude a powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed, it makes you the perfect opponent. Are you floating Come, with magic? Don't you dare hold anything back. Or are you floating with the power of... QB... Shadow Realm Darkness? If we defeat this guy, we'll level up. And then we can go back to where Gus, is, Gus was earlier. I think we're okay like this, actually. Maybe. Yeah, put that down, and then we'll put down the dragon. Oh, this is great, look at this. We can put down both Megard Sommer and Ifrit. So we have a wolf above and on the bottom row for the both of them, okay. Let's put this down. They are advancing on us. So maybe what I'll do is I will just... Ooh, that Loveless card. Raise the power. Yeah, but it... it <sighs> the only spot that I'm comfortable with having the Loveless on is basically where the Arch Dragon is right now. Because I <laughs> I don't want to increase my, my enemies' cards. Let's do something a little bit more defensive. Let me check your freed. Each other enhanced card. Okay, this is fine. Gonna try to steal my spot? How dare you? Oh, Ifrit and Chocobo and Moogle are kind of like the same thing, but we need something to actually raise people's numbers first. So maybe something like... Oh, shoot. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. Hold up, but we already got these... Okay, hold up. What I'll do is... Let's put this dude down so we can... ensure that they stop adv I hope they stop advancing. I kind of want this spot, but this spot might be more important to me. Hold up. Don't, don't do any diagonal advancing, okay? Oh, shoot! Shoot, but that's good. You destroyed some of my cards. That's fine. The Loveless on here. Oh my god, it would be kind of crazy good, wouldn't it? But then I don't want the red. I don't want you to take the red. Mm. 
I guess I could put the Loveless here too, but then every Ah! This just would have been good if I could get it. I can get it, but I'm, I'm being greedy right now. Okay, let's let's hang back. Look at the numbers right now. What's going on with the numbers? I'm probably winning the middle. Cactuar. Hmm. Ah, oh, it does a minus... Wait, wait, wait. They have a minus one. The Mind Flayer lowers power. Okay, so my Loveless won't actually be that big of a problem then, right? Because it's just bringing it back to a neutral amount. Although I'm not advancing forward, which is stupid. Oh, wow, okay. Alright. This is fine. Oh my god! Every plus eight! Oh my god, okay, but that spot's mine already. Hold on. Hold on, we can even put the chocobo- <gasps> Even the chocobo is a four! Guys, people, please! Yeah, we need more of those, like, all these cards advancing left and right. Okay, that's- that's all we can do for advancing, I think. That's what it looks like. Well, it's the Ifrit. Probably. Fifteen? But they might destroy more of my cards, in which case my Midgard Summer will get better. So that's not gonna be too bad anyway. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Chocobo Jockey! When you win the lane, receive score bonus of... Ah, I wish I had one more. See, this one spot here. I can't put anything down except for really crappy stuff. That's okay, I'll just put down an Arch Dragon. Yeah, I think hopefully... Oh my god, we're winning by so much on the bottom lane. Is this good enough? Nevalon! Oh, 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 what was that? Ooh. Lowered a lot of my numbers, but it died. Was that a mi mind flayer? Who just killed it? I don't know, it just died. Okay, well, I, I can't do much else. Sometimes I wish they could show me a log of what happened, because the effects just went by, but I don't know what the card does. And it just sort of... This stuff just sort of happened. Okay, I, I'm done. Are you done? All right, what is that? Levercon, okay. It's still scary, okay? I feel like I'm winning. I'm winning all three lanes right now. But you never know. Okay. Oh, this is a beautiful win. Okay, that one tried to toxify things, but I'm still winning by a lot. Thank you. Thank you for the match. That was an overwhelming victory, though. And we didn't even get to put the Chocobo Jockey down. Bang Nadrana! Hmm, when enemy cards are played from the hand, raises cards power by one. That's an interesting card. You would wanna- it's one that you would wanna play down ASAP. In the beginning of the match. Oh, oh god! My name... Is Ludrell Balmon, and I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood, which means that this nightmare is of my own making. I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> the cards are real. <laughs> running out <laughs> she's calling me commanding me <sighs> she's made me her prisoner the queen her cursed card my shackle the end is nigh <sighs> or perhaps this is only the beginning The Shadow Blood Queen is. Ooh. Ah, let me guess. You have dreamt the dream of Ladrell Balmon, too. What do you know about it? Mm. 
Only rumors and hearsay that players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. Mm. People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the cards, then remain vigilant, or it may lead to your undoing. We are now Blood Knight Second Class. Okay, well, we'll keep a lookout on this Ladrell business. That was so scary in the middle of that vision. <laughs> My monitor turned off. I was like, whoa, what was that? Hopefully the recording's okay. I think it is, but that was kind of scary.